Greetings! Today I want to show you a web page where you can play with all playable ship stats. But before I start I want to say that almost all stats can be further improved in one or another way. In example, if you watched my videos you know that all regarding speed, pitching, rolling, boosting, all those stats can be influenced by making your ship lighter or heavier. So depending on your mass your ship can have higher or lower speed. And it's very easy to tell how much you will gain in pitching by knowing how much you gain in top speed. If you gain 5% top speed, you will gain around the same in pitching. To compare all ships, I use same combat build for every single ship here. Full load of weapons and utility mounts. Utility mounts filled with A rating shield boosters. Mirrored bulkhead, which is heaviest. Best thrusters, power plant, power management, frameshift drive and lightest sensors and life support. Highest internal compartment always for best rating shield generator and other internal compartments used for shield cell banks. That way I can compare same builds of different ships. Of course you can make them faster by making lighter, but these stats is what you should have if you outfit your ships with best and heaviest modules. And let's start with stats that are most important if you are fighting speed, boost, pitching, shields, armor and stuff like that. Price combat fitted without any discounts. At Founders World, if you are elite or Founders level backer, you can get 10% discount. At Li Yang Rao, this Chinese guy, you can get 15%. To find out exactly how much money you need, go to Virtual Outfitting. I have a video about this, so Coriolis.io or edshipyard.com. You can sort them by price ascending or descending, whatever you want. Obviously, cheapest is Sidewinder. You can see 0 pip speed, slowest type 9 in all game. Fastest, Ferdelands, 247 for my combat build. You can get even faster if you make it lighter. 4 pip speed, fastest ship is Imperial Clipper. Again, you can make Viper Mark 3 faster than that. But not with mirrored armor and all best modules because it's too heavy. Fastest boost also, Cobra Imperial Clipper or Imperial Eagle. 4 pip to engines, pitching speed. All these tests are done with throttle and blue sweet spot, so it's best possible scenario. Eagle is fastest pitching ship in the game. Following by Vulture, Sidewinder, Cobra, Federal Assault Ship, Asp Scout, Imperial Eagle and Clipper Hauler, Ferdelands, Python is here. Again, get lighter modules and your speed and pitching will be faster. You can see how good the ships are at pitching with 4 pips. With 0 pips, fastest speed is Eagle again. Vulture, Scout, Fedlands is here. Slowest 24.8 seconds, 360 degrees, Type 7. Imperial Cutter is slightly faster than Type 7 and Type 9 also is slightly faster. And with 4 pips to engine, slowest pitching speed in the game is Imperial Cutter, which is not surprising at all. It's heaviest ship in the game as well. Shields, with full load of shield boosters in every single utility mount and best regular shield generator, Imperial Cutter, Federal Corvette Anaconda. You can get better shields if you use Prismatic. Ferdelands is number 4 and Python falls way back, number 5. Armor, without any hull reinforcement packages, only with mirrored armor. You can have much more armor points if you use hull reinforcement packages and biggest winners are ships with many internal compartments. If you want to know exactly how much armor points your build will have, go to Virtual Shipyard. Anaconda has highest armor without any hull reinforcement packages. Cutter is second, Corvette, Federal Gunship, Assault Ship, Dropship, Clipper. Jump range. This is for combat build ships. It's what your jump range will be if you outfit your ship with best and heaviest modules. Corvette around 12 with Ferdelands, Gunship, Dropship, which has highest, Diamondback Explorer, Asp Explorer, Diamondback Scout. And hard points, just for you to know. One utility mount, two small, one medium. L stands for large, so it's obvious. So here you can play with different stats for your combat build ships. You can tweak them greatly. But I also want to show you general stats for your ships, so you can sort and get a general idea which ship you need for which occasion for exploration you care, maximum jump range for trading, maximum cargo and stuff like that. Price trade fitted, 
jump laden, mass lock helmets, landing pads, stock price. So you can sort all ships ascending or descending and figure out which ship you actually need to buy for your fleet. Sidewinder is cheapest, Imperial Cutter is most expensive. Max Cargo is without shields. Imperial Cutter impressive 792 tons, Corvette 616, Type 9 532. Of course you will not fly with shields off those ships. At least not in open, definitely not in open. Heavier ship in the game is Cutter, followed by Type 9, then Corvette, and then all other ships are much lighter. A mass lock factor, if you don't know what that means. Each ship has a mass lock factor, and if two ships meet, then one ship will mass lock other. If both have same mass lock factor, then both ships will mass lock each other. Mass locked ship will charge frameshift drive into supercruise much longer than normally. Mass lock do not slow down charging frameshift drive for hyper jump. So if you are mass locked by any ship, hyper jump. If you fly Corvette and there's a cutter, cutter will mass lock Corvette. Corvette will not mass lock cutter. This is especially important if you are participating in PvP fights. You should know what ships are in same instance as you, and if there are ships with higher mass locks than you, you should never even try to supercruise. Select another system and hyper jump instead. Jump Laden will show you which ship is best for trading with highest jump range. Diamondback Explorer almost 30 light years, but only 52 tons of cargo. Asp Explorer 25 plus minus jump range and 128 tons without shields. Diamondback Scout 24, Asp Scout 24, Anaconda for a reason is one of the best trading ships in the game. Impressive 21 light year. It's with 452 tons. With lowest glass shield generator you can fit on Anaconda. Let me actually set max jump. So if you want to explore you can outfit Anaconda to be the best jumping ship in the game. Asp Explorer is second place, Diamondback Explorer, Courier, Scout. Again, these stats are not final. You can tweak them even further. In example, you can go without shields at all. You can sacrifice many other modules, just have as little modules as possible. You can have very low class power coupling, which will make boosting even once impossible. But you don't need that. You don't need good trusters at all if you are exploring, because you will be spending most of your time in super cruise. You can have no weapons at all. So it's up to you how you build your ship. These numbers are a good source of information for you to consider if you are looking a ship for exploration, trading on large or medium landing pads, combat, or for any other specific goal you have in mind. And do not forget about crafting, we already can double our jump range for one jump, so if there are some places you can't reach, you need to prepare your ship, you need to find materials and craft some frameship drive injections. This is what I wanted you to show today. Most of these stats are obtained by myself, like pitching, 4 pips, 0 pips, top speed with 0, 4 pips. I had to buy every single ship in the game, outfit and try them out. But you don't need to do that, you can go to virtual outfitting and most stats you will see on the fly as soon as you switch one module to another. But I couldn't find information regarding pitching speed and I think it's quite important to know how fast you can do 360 degree pitch with 0 or 4 pips. So enjoy my findings and fly safe commanders!